So with all the information coming out about EA FC 25, what we're going to be releasing today is a video about how to go and get the closed beta that should be coming out in a few weeks' time. So between now and the 6th of October, I'm going to be uploading a daily free EA FC 25 trading guide. This will include everything to do on the web app to make as many coins as possible with both trading and investing. I'll be talking about the full release, what we expect to see regarding the market. And there'll also be a daily updated investing guide all in there, updated every day for free. No gimmicks whatsoever. All you got to do is click on the Google Docs link on the top link of the description. So in today's video, what we're going to be doing is talking about what the closed beta is, what you can do in the closed beta, what you can't do in the closed beta, and more importantly than anything else, how can you get the closed beta and increase your chances. So what is included in the EAFC 25 beta? Well, there's three different game modes you traditionally have. Now again, unless there's going to be any additional game modes, these are the ones we're expecting. The three you normally go and get yourself is Ultimate Team, Career Mode, and Kickoff. Now, there is some theory that if you predominantly play one of these game modes, uh, you've got a higher chance of getting it, which is why Ultimate Team is normally seen as quite hard to get, because of course, loads of people predominantly play Ultimate Team. Therefore, if they're giving out beta codes to people who predominantly play Ultimate Team, well then, of course, uh, you know, there's a bigger pool of players. Whereas the thoughts of that are getting career mode, pro clubs, or kickoff is a lot easier, because of course, the pool of people who play those game modes over Ultimate Team is normally seen as a lot less. But that does not matter too much because the beta is actually thought to come out as early as, as the 8th of August, which again is only going to be about 3-4 weeks time. So you've only got about 3-4 weeks to go and sort your accounts out to try and get the beta. Well, normally what it does is it normally runs until the end of the month. So it'll be the 8th of August to around about the 31st of August. And the reason I say, well, it might not be the end of the world if you don't get Ultimate Team is because what they do is for the first, I think, week or two, they only let you play your selected game mode. So again, you could be given the Ultimate Team beta, you can only play the Ultimate Team game mode. You get given the Volta beta, you have to play two weeks of Volta, my gosh. Uh, Pro Clubs and so on and so on and so on. Well, in the last week or two weeks, what they do is they go and open up the whole of the game to uh, to the beta testers. So again, if you've got the Ultimate Team, you can play Pro Clubs or Kickoff. If you've got only the Kickoff, you can play Ultimate Team and actually have a bit of fun with the beta. On top of that, they actually also give out waves of the beta code. So normally what you'll see is on the first day, you'll see a set of uh, beta codes being given out. On the second day, you'll see a wave of beta codes being given out. On the third day, a wave of beta codes being given out. But I'll be honest, after the first week, it's very rare to see more beta codes being given out. But just because you don't go and get a beta code in the first day, don't write it off because again we have seen them give them out in waves and waves and waves this is potentially due to them giving out the beta code but then seeing how many people are actually logging onto the game and maybe if it's you know maybe let's say they send out 10,000 beta codes but only 1,000 of those are active players maybe they go and send out another 10,000 until they hit their sort of target how many players are actively playing the game and so those playing the game especially ultimate team it is good fun because what happens is EA wants to simulate the whole cycle of FIFA in just one month so you know you start off with your gold cards, then you move on to maybe special cards, then you move on to icons, then you move on to team of seasons and so on. Well yeah, you like to simulate that whole cycle in just a matter of a month. So what happens is you log on the game and again you use stuff like Bellingham, you know, they give you a semi-decent team. One week later the packs start picking up, they start giving you, you know, insane amount of coins, insane amount of packs. Next week uh, they give you then a few icons, maybe an icon pack, maybe a hero pack. By the last week, they unlock uh, the whole account so that you literally can use any heroes, any icons, any golds. Now, the one thing I always say is they don't actually add on the new heroes and icons. Uh, for, for example, we've already had uh, Buffon Leap, we've already had Hazard Leap. They don't add those into the game, it's only the pre-existing icons, because the idea is the beta's not there to go and leak a bunch of information. The beta's there to have you playing the previous version's sort of gate players but in the new sort of mechanics, with the new sort of play styles and so on and so on. And players' ratings aren't final as well. There's a lot of changes between what is on the beta, then what is leaked before the game comes out, then what comes out fully. So also, I wouldn't take uh, the ratings on the beta mode for, for, for beta. So hopefully I've whet your appetite for wanting the beta, because again, it is really, really good fun. Now, a massive thing is as well is whatever you uh, achieve on the beta, it doesn't carry on to the full game. Surprisingly, when EA gives you every icon and hero, that doesn't run into the full game. Any coins made doesn't go into the full game. Now, I'd argue that, well, you probably gain a little bit of gameplay experience by playing the beta, which, again, works in your favour of the full game. But apart from, I guess, maybe learning a few mechanics, getting a bit of experience, which, don't get me wrong, you're going to have a whole month of not playing the game. That's the only thing you can really gain is, I guess, experience rather than actually gaining anything physical uh, going into the next FIFA. So let's go and head underway with how can you actually receive the beta because just because you go and play FIFA does not mean you are guaranteed to go and get a beta. A few settings you need to change and there's a few things you need to apply for. So the first thing you're going to do is you are going to go and Google or whatever search engine you want, EA.com. So then you want to go and click on Electronic Arts homepage. This is where you want to go. 
Now once you're here, you actually want to go and log in, but EA make it really, really weird to understand how you log in on this site. But if you go and look at the top right, we can see the EA logo, a little question mark, and the uh, sort of you know, account profile icon. What you're gonna do is you're gonna go and click on the account profile icon. You're now then gonna go into either sign in or create account. Now once you've signed in, you're still on this homepage, so now what you need to do is go and click on that profile button again. Now you need to go and scroll down to account settings. Now this will go and take you to a page just like this. Now there's two things we're going to do when on this page. The main one of this is going to be going into email preferences. What you're going to do is you're going to make sure this is selected. Yes, email me about EA products, news, events, promotions. This is basically just giving them the ability to email you and as a result giving them the ability to email you, that's how they go and send you the beta code. Now, the second thing you want to do is go down here to connections. Now the reason for this is you basically just want to make sure the right Xbox or PlayStation account is linked to the email. Now if the right Xbox and PlayStation account isn't linked to the right email, go and check different emails. Or what you can do is you can actually head into the uh, ultimate team, then you can scroll to the, uh, sorry, head to the FIFA menus. If you scroll left and then click on the profile icon, then go into online settings, you can actually see the email that's linked to your EA account. But it doesn't actually matter if you don't have a few accounts. It doesn't fully matter. Like I said, nothing carries over. Just as long as you have access to the email that's connected to the EA account, that's really all you need. And one thing, because it is a numbers thing, it's not to do if you don't have to play like a minimum of 100 games, the best way to actually receive the beta is just sign up loads of accounts. Personally, I've probably got like 10, 15 emails. Uh, they're all linked to PlayStation and Xbox as I've played on all this year. And they're all signed up because that's how you get the beta. You don't get the beta via playing more games. You get the beta via having more accounts that are eligible for the beta. And like I said earlier, as long as you're 18 plus or have an account that's 18 plus from the UK or America and, you know, have Xbox or PlayStation Live, that's all the eligibility you need to be able to go and get yourself a beta code. So that is the first way to go and get yourself the beta. The second way to go and get yourself or increase the chance of getting the beta is just by heading over to EA Playtesting. So once you're on the EA playtesting site, what you need to do is head on to the top right again and you're going to go and log into your account. Again, this will have like a, a dull white and black uh, icon. You're going to click on it, log in, and now what you need to do is click on become a playtester. You then need to tick all of these boxes, press next, and then press get started. You can then go and fill in a bunch of personal details. Believe it or not, we didn't show them. And then you're gonna go and fill out a short survey. Likewise, you can go and select if you just wanna do the playtest at home or if you wanna actually go into uh, one of EA studios. So for example, there's actually a uh, playtesting thing in Guildford, which isn't too far away from me. But you're kind of doing the survey and all this lot to actually do the uh, online version. You're not doing this predominantly to go in person to go and try out the new FIFA. And like you can see right here, there's already some playtesting you can sign up for. One for Skate and another for Apex Legends. And the idea is there should be something along the lines of FIFA if they give off that opportunity. So what happens if you do go and get yourself uh, the beta? What you do is you receive an email with the account that is connected to your EA.com account. Now this may be in the junk because uh, I think Google and some other things auto, um, auto sort the uh, EA emails into spam. So definitely make sure to check the spam. Maybe go and type beta into your uh, search bar in the top of your emails. And again, we expect to go and get these emails around about the 8th of August. So how are you going to redeem the code? Again, you'll be sent the code to the email linked to that ea.com account we were talking about earlier. So again, make sure to go and check all your emails. Redeeming the beta code is nothing different to literally just downloading a game via the code. So what you do is you go to the Microsoft Store, you go to the PlayStation Store, you go redeem code, type in your beta code, and then what it'll do is it'll let you go and download the EAFC25 beta. Now at this point, you should know if it is Ultimate Team and so on, because I do believe it is set in the email. But I say you're gonna go and download the beta, and then you'll be able to play on that version of FIFA for about a month before they basically null and void and just completely get rid of the game. So hopefully this has given you guys an insight to what the beta is, if this is one of your first FIFAs, and hopefully how to increase the chance to get the beta. Thank you very much for watching, and we'll see you guys tomorrow with a brand new video.